Introducing in this corner, 234 pounds from Milwaukee, that was an all-district wrestling champion and football star, young Larry Oliver. All right, this is starts round two. Larry and Billy received five. His opponent in this round. corner, 275 pounds from Portland, Billy Jack Payne. Man, this guy has really lost it. He has really lost it, Billy has. He's lost every friend that he had in the Pacific Northwest, certainly around here. Well, and now, look at this. Look at this. He's in there, I guess, a young, I mean, Larry Oliver has only been wrestling for a matter of weeks professionally. And certainly has a very impressive amateur background in, in uh, wrestling and football. But my gosh, to go against somebody like Billy Jack Haynes, especially the way Billy is right now. Billy's asking for the uh, house mic. Come on, Billy, just, gee, just. You go ahead and check me. I don't need nothing. Like his punk dad to come out here with a cheater bar. I've never needed nothing. Look at, look at everybody here. Everybody has paid with their food stamps, haven't they? You welfare idiots. Uh, I'm repeating once again, Billy Jack Haynes and Larry Oliver. This begins round two. They both received buys for round one. And here we go. That is a nice arm drag by Larry Oliver. Oh, and that caught Billy by surprise. <laughs> that caught him by surprise. I have never in my life seen Rip Oliver as outraged and maniacal as he was during that interview that we were starting to have with Billy Jack Haynes. They had to get Rip Oliver out of here. He has been suspended. I don't know if he's been fined or not, but he has been eliminated from the tournament. He can know, he, and he was advancing in the tournament, but not anymore. I, I mean, he had that cheater bar. He was, uh, boy, they had to, Barry Owen had to restore control. They had, they, it took about five of those guys to get him out of here and out of the building. That, uh, that's what's happening. That's what's happening between Rip Oliver and Billy Jack Haynes. And are those two going to meet? Oh, mercy. If they do, you better do whatever you can to get tickets. Look at this now. Billy Jack Haynes rolling, trying to get to the ropes, and he does. That forces a break. Now, listen, tomorrow, the 22nd, we're going to be in Umatilla. Umatilla at the high school starting at 7 o'clock. Get your tickets at the door. Beetlejuicers are on that card. Monday, the 23rd, in Lapine at the high school. 8 o'clock bell time. Tickets at the shoots, uh, fly and tackle. And the Beetle Juicers are on that card. In fact, we have one of the Beetle Juicers here right now, Little Juice. Uh, li uh, little Beetle Juice. What's the condition of Big Beetle Juice? Is he going to make it to Umatilla and Lapine? Well, you know, that guy's got more heart <laughs> than the state of Oregon itself, so I'm sure he's going to be there. I don't know what kind of condition he's going to be in. But Don Cost, what just happened? Oh, I, just, I know it. Rip Oliver's lost his mind. I'm telling you, he's had enough. You know, they barred him from the building. He is outside the building. The security and us, we just took him out, and Barry Owen has barred him from the building for the night. He well, just completely lost it. I know, and not only that, but he, he's now eliminated from the tournament. Yeah, I, I really don't think he cares too much about no, the belt no, at this point. No, I'm sure he doesn't. But he does certainly care about his son in there right now in the grasp of one Billy Jack Hayes. Yeah, he does. And look at his son, man. He's fighting. He's coming along. Look at that. Oh, man. Pulled the hair and down he goes. Have you ever seen Billy Jack have to do that before? No, never. Never. This is not the Billy Jack Haynes I ever even... I mean, this is... This is worse than your worst nightmare. Man, that guy's really got his head screwed up, don't he? He really does. Hey, you know, Don Cosway, I'm up here. I want to tell everybody out there about next Saturday night. <laughs> all right, all right. Things are happening. Kids are going to be free in the honor of Sarah Shuey, oh, that little girl. That's Every great. kid, you come down, not just to support the juicers, support Larry Oliver, but support Sarah Shuey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's next Saturday night. <laughs> Look at Billy Jack Hayes. Look at him. Just, uh, just, he's attacking Larry Oliver. This is not professional wrestling. He's attacking the kid. Boom, down he goes. Man, oh man, oh man. 
the Billy Jack James leg drop across the chest. Well, as you know, Beetlejuice, tomorrow it's Umatilla, Monday it's Lapine, Tuesday it's St. Helens at the Armory starting at 8 o'clock. And then where are you guys going? We're going to be in Hillsboro. We got a big card laid out for Hillsboro. That's 8 o'clock now. No more 7 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock. The next night we're in Woodburn, Oregon. That's Thursday the 26th. Woodburn, all those little juicers have been supporting us. In Woodburn, come on down because we're going to be there. And Friday, it's Kids Night in Eugene. And you don't know how excited I am about that. Titles are on the line. Be here. But then again, next Saturday night, kids free. Everybody come down in honor of Sarah Shuey and everything. We are going to be ready to go. All right. And back there he goes right now. Little juice as Billy Jack Haynes lays an elbow upside the chin of Larry Oliver. And Larry is hurting right now. Back that chin con. That uh, elbow caught him in the throat. There's a hard chop, and Larry down to one knee. Oh, mercy. Oh, I just, I, I hurt for the kid in there right now. That is no place for, hey, listen, that's no place for a veteran, the way Billy Jack Haynes is right now. And yet Larry Oliver, Oliver the son of Rip Oliver, inexperienced rookie, only been professional wrestling for a few weeks now. Oh, man, and Billy Jack Haynes is, oh, oh, a tremendous. Tremendous clothesline on Larry Oliver, and Larry is hurting. <laughs> He's hurting, and his dad is outside the building. They won't let him in because he went berserk up here just a few moments ago. Thanks to Billy Jack Haynes. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's Billy Jack. Man, oh, man. Now he's choking Larry over that second rope. You can see just choking him. Get him off of him, uh, Sandy. Get the man off of him. Hey. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? He, all right. He's been disqualified. Billy Jack Haynes has been disqualified. <laughs> Referee Sandy Barr can't even get him off of him. Get him off of Oh, no. Out go. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Out over the top rope. Sandy Barr went over the top rope. And Billy Jack Haynes is in position to put a full Nelson on Larry Oliver. I can't believe this. The referee is injured. He's outside. Nobody there to help Larry Oliver. Billy behind him, coming up. I can't believe this. He wouldn't do that. Not, not to a young man like Larry Oliver. <laughs> and Billy, Billy was right. Billy is the master of the full Nelson. I mean, he, it, it, and right now that full Nelson can do more damage to a young man like that than anything else from any other professional wrestler and there goes sandy bar again he's down he crawled back in and here come, oh, is this some help no i don't think this is help that's all the drill and the equalizer now what are they doing they're trying to billy is fighting everybody off billy i'm telling you billy has lost it i tell you his i think uh his lighthouse has been destroyed hey there's there's nothing there right now larry oliver just uh, has, has collapsed over here on that bottom rope. And Al Madrill, equalizer, trying to restrain Billy Jack Haynes. I think they are anyway. I hope they are. At least somebody. There's bodyguard Ray. He's got that nightstick. He may need more than that, Ray. As Billy, Billy Jack Haynes is, is like a caged animal over there. He, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what's going on? The referee has raised, he's raised the arm of Larry Oliver. Larry is the winner by disqualification. Larry will advance in our tournament. He is advancing in our Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship Tournament. He's being helped out of the ring by, there's Bill Francis, Ricky Santana, Little Juice, and they're helping him back. And all right, well, thank goodness no more damage was done. We'll be back with more.